Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Cross Street Classics. We're back here on our 1970 Lincoln Mark III build. Uh, our last video we uh, worked on the vinyl roof. And um, today we're going to be working on the exhaust. Uh, we picked up a pre bent exhaust system here from Classic Exhaust in Geneva, Ohio. Uh, he had a couple different options. He had aluminized, he had stainless steel and he had with or without resonators. Uh, these cars here, they had the H-pipe, then they had the mufflers, the tail, or the exhaust pipes, and then they had uh, the resonator tail pipe on these cars. Uh, they had a resonator up inside here between the, uh, the trunk drop off and the frame. Um, but we opted to not do the resonators only we want to we want this thing to um, we want to sound have nice rumble to it. So we often to do the turbo mufflers with the resonator delete. Now later on we decide that the car is too loud. This pipe right here, all we're gonna change. We just take this pipe off, put the resonator back on, and it gets quiet again. So we got the got the H pipe in here, and this exhaust is kind of kind of unique. Um, this aftermarket one because it's the H pipe is four piece. The factory H pipe goes from the manifold not to about right here to the muffler. Um, I guess they do this for production and gives you a little more adjustment here too. You can see we got this clamp here. This clamps the H pipe in half, and then them two little pipes there in front of the mufflers are going to go on next, and that'll give you the uh, the factory H pipe itself. And the mufflers and the exhaust pipes and the tail pipes. So uh, we're going to start putting this on and uh, just kind of get it fitted here. And then I got the, the original hangers on the car were okay shape, but uh, we're going to use them just for mock up. I'm going to order some new ones here. There's a company that makes uh, pretty nice reproductions here. This in here got a little hot. It's kind of kind of bad, but. Um, the time being it'll work to hold it in place. So let's get started. So we got this exhaust installed about as far as we can go right now. The tailpipe hangers are part of the bumper brackets in the back. So I really can't get anything done until uh, we get the back bumper on. So uh, they're hanging here now. We'll get them tweaked and dialed in here after uh, we get the bumper installed. But um, one thing we had to do, I don't know if it's me or what, but we had to uh, take this bracket off here 
and lower the pipe down about three eighths of an inch. I just couldn't get the clearance between the floor and the muffler that I needed. No matter what I did to these pipes, twist them, turn them, uh, it was rubbing the floor. So I just cut it off, moved it three eighths of an inch, re-welded it. And then um, as much as I like these clamps here, because they really seal nice and they allow for ease of exhaust removal, I can't use them on here. A couple of the fittings um, where the bend is, it's, it's too short for the smaller flange to meet. This one over here, you can see that it, it, it ain't gonna work. So we're gonna have to buy some conventional clamps. So these are all just, it's just tacked on here for now. So I'm gonna buy a bunch of regular exhaust clamps for it and we'll get these all changed out and that'll be done. So um, that's it for this guys. Hopefully uh, next video we'll have, we'll have a video of this thing running. So that's gonna conclude this video. Hope you guys are enjoying our uh, Lincoln series here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next, next one.